Is the full stack the future of web development? With the rise of AI automation, I've been getting this question a lot and I've been thinking a lot about this question. What is going to happen with full stack development? Is it going to go up, go down? What's going on? The short answer is full stack development is going to be huge in demand as compared to like, let's say today. And there are a few reasons. First of all, as we know, AI automation is here. AI automation is doing fantastic job. And a lot of companies have started introducing AI tools like Cursor, ChatGPT. I think 80 to 90% of developers are already using some kind of AI tooling in their workflows. Either it be Cursor, Windsurf, ChatGPT, Claude. They're using these tools to build softwares. I think in the short term, we will be seeing the rise of few people teams, or small teams to build softwares. Maybe two or three developers, one designer and one product person will be enough to ship a product which might be used by millions of people. So if companies are moving towards that direction, they will be needing a lot of full stack people who can do like front end, back end, CI, CD, DevOps, all those things. And I'm not saying these, doing these things are easy. On the contrary, they're hard. They're hard skills. So maybe market might be tilting more towards senior engineers who might have like eight or 10 years of experience of building application, both front end and back end and DevOps as well. So what should you do? Should you drop doing front end and back end and just jump in full stack? If you're junior, let's say you have less than two or three years of experience, I still think you should put 80 or 9% of your focus in the single stack, either it be front end or back end. But if you have more experience, like three to five or eight years of experience, I would say it's the right time to jump into full stack. If you've been doing back end, maybe it's a time to do some front end work. And I think in the future, employers will ask you to use AI tools because see what an employer wants, what a company wants. They want you, they want to hire you to build product and they want to make money. This is the simple handshake you'll be doing when you start a job. So they might not care about how you do things, but they will be asking you to use AI in your workflows because they knew now that with the tools like ChatGPT or Cursor, you can build application faster. Now you'll be asking, there is a lot of data showing that these applications are introducing a lot of bugs in the application security wise. That's why they're looking for people who have more experience, who know about those technical things prior to starting working with the AI tooling to build their applications. So smaller teams, maybe two or three developers will be enough to build a medium size application. And this trend is going to go fast. I think next one or two years, we'll be seeing a lot of smaller teams. And that's why like you'll be seeing a lot of, lot of videos, a lot of news around companies laying off their employees because they might not need that many people. And this is the harsh reality. So should you do full stack? I would say yes. At least even if you're junior, at least start learning about the full stack. How can you use different technologies to build modern applications? Because with the help of AI, it is much easier to build a small to medium sized application. And a lot of companies will be looking for people who know about using those tools. And I know it's, it's pretty hard to judge nowadays or to, to test somebody's cursor knowledge, right? And they might not never test your cursor knowledge. They will still test you on your technical things. So preparing for interviews is still important. You should still spend time to learn for technical and behavior interviews because they are not going to say, okay, use this cursor app and build some application because they know like if you are technically strong, you can do that. So they will be again looking for people who have good experience, maybe full stack, because see, if you're front end, you'll say, I can only build the front end, right? And they need to hire someone who's doing back end. I'm strictly talking here about companies who have small to medium sized product. If some company has like a big application, like Google or like Facebook, whatever, right? They may still need like front end people, back end people, DevOps people, because they have huge, huge applications used by billions of people. So if you are entering a job market, I would say, yes, stick to your stack. But at the same time, 
start learning at least the basics of full stack because if you have that you can say in an interview that okay i'm i'm good in this particular technology but i've been like building my own application with cursor to hook up a uh, front end with the back end and to scale an application or to use some kind of ci cd pipeline or deploy it on aws i've been using like s3 bucket using ec2 instance so you can throw some technical jargon and if you can demonstrate that i think you probably have higher chance than someone who say okay i'm just sticking to one stack and i'm not seeing anything else even i made a video like 2 or 3 months ago and i think time is changing and it's changing fast so if you can if you have time if you can give some more time you can use ai right in your favor to learn new technologies and i have made many videos on this channel you can see and i'm in the future again going to make because everything is changing so fast but i think this is a great opportunity i talked about this in my uh, past video as well this is a great opportunity for everyone so the short answer is yes it looks like market is moving more towards full stack people who have experience because they can build application faster securely with ai when i'm saying ai it's think of just automation forget about ai automation automation is rising it's using ai well that's it from today's video i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching